So is installing solar tiles actually cost effective in the UK? And how do they stack up when compared to normal solar panels? I'm going to run through the costs of solar tiles in this video and come to a conclusion as to whether they are actually worth it. So how much do solar tiles cost? And how does this price compare to standard solar panels when installed as part of a new build project? Well, solar panels are a lot cheaper when installed as part of a new build because the solar installer usually doesn't need to quote for scaffolding or a structural survey or any AC cabling as standard. And this brings the cost down quite a bit. I actually quoted a 10 kilowatt system with 22 ICO 455 watt panels for a little over 9,600 pounds yesterday. And that's really quite cheap for a 10 kilowatt residential solar system. By comparison, a 10 kilowatt solar system using tiles would cost in the region of 30,000 pounds, which is three to four times more expensive. And this has a big impact on your payback period. In the same example, the customer was using a lot of electricity, around 8,000 kilowatt hours per year. And our modeling estimated that their 22 panel in-roof system would have a payback period of five to six years. But when I modeled for the equivalent solar tile system, it said that that would take between 13 and 15 years to repay the investment. It's worth mentioning that there is an economy of scale when it comes to installing solar panels and certain things like the scaffolding and the technical and structural survey are always going to be there whether you install 20 panels or 6 panels. And that's why it's always best to max out your roof space if your DNO permits. The panels themselves aren't actually expensive compared to the overall cost of the project. There's also an economy of scale with solar tiles. However, it isn't quite as profound because the unit cost per tile is very expensive. It's also worth talking about the savings that you get with not needing to buy roof tiles. If you install in-roof solar panels, which fit into the roof instead of above the tiles, then you don't need to buy tiles to cover that area. And these savings are even bigger with solar tiles because you can cover the entire roof instead of just a fixed area as you can with solar panels. We should also discuss which is more reliable. And both the solar tiles and solar panels are warranted for 25 years, with some brands of panel being warranted for up to 40 years, like the SunPower Maxion series. But in terms of actual real world reliability, I'd say that panels are more reliable because there's just a lot less that can go wrong. If one solar tile fails, then the whole string of tiles can also fail. Although I think some brands will have a workaround for this. But either way, that's gonna be very expensive to replace. Whereas with solar panels, if one fails, then replacing it is really quite straightforward, especially when it's installed in an in-roof tray. You can just pop the panel out and replace it with a new one. So in conclusion, I'd have to say that solar tile technology is just not cost effective enough to justify it at the moment. It's also not a very common system, so we don't know how reliable it is or how well the tiles will stand up to weather and degradation or how long they'll last. If you have the cash to spare on a really sleek system, then it may be worth exploring. But otherwise, I just go for an in-roof system, which is very reliable and looks great, especially against a slate tile backdrop. And it still allows you to save a lot of money on roof tiles when you're replacing your roof. Solar tiles could be really useful for when you're in a listed building or you're in a conservation area and you want to generate from your road facing roof. But even then, I think you can get away with a good looking in-roof solar system. Now, we also have three other videos in this series on solar tiles that will be coming out over the next 48 hours. If you'd like to watch those, please click the link at the top of the screen.